Sun's up here in Sutherland Springs, Texas, and it is hard to believe that less than 24 hours, the church behind me was filled with a scene of horror. I mean, take us into account, as one of the locals said, there were only a handful of people in that church who did not get shot. The investigation here, massive, especially the church behind me, as you might imagine, people ask, asking questions uh, at this hour. There's all sorts of reports coming in. Uh, we do know this, at about 11.20 local time is when the gunman walked into that church. He was clad in black. He was dressed to kill. Uh, he walked close to the front, we're told by the most recent reports, turned around and then sprayed the church, opening fire, reloading at times, and by uh, several different accounts, uh, he then walked up to some of the victims and shot them execution style directly into the head. This went on for some time, and it would explain why very few were not shot. 26 dead, uh, 20 injured, uh, and again, very few who walked out alive. Take a listen. We have multiple, multiple crime scenes. We have the church, we have outside the church, we have where the suspect's vehicle was located. We have following up on the suspect and, and where he's from, his residence. We have many, many people to interview. We have Texas Rangers at all the hospitals. Uh, locating those uh, and interviewing those who, who were injured. Now, one of those scenes is where the gunman shot himself in the head. We're told now by the New York Post, who's reporting, that two men, two heroes, chased him down. We know one was a plumber, shot him between, take a rifle and shot the, the, uh, the gunman between his vest, actually, uh, hitting him, chased him down to a neighboring county with another man. The Post is saying there may have actually been a hostage in the car with the gunman. Now, that has not yet been confirmed by authorities here, but the New York Post is reporting that. Uh, but the two men chased him down. They had exchanged gunfire in a, in a, in a small uh, intersection here, Bill, uh, and Sandra, and they finally got him at some point uh, when the car crashed, we're told, and then the gunman shot himself, taking his own life. Adam, this is an incredibly small community there in Texas. Uh, you have to assume literally everyone has been affected by this. Uh, what are you hearing from residents there as the, as the sun does come up this morning? You know, we drove out here as the sun was coming up. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Texas. I have family here. Uh, like anywhere in the Midwest or this part of the country, it's a postage stamp type town in the middle of a of a field. Uh, you know, you, you drive around here and you, you know everybody knows everybody just by seeing how they talk and how they meet at the local store down at the end of the street. I mean, this is a very small town. They had a candlelight vigil last night. Uh, we know that one family lost seven members of the extended family in this church all at the same time. Sander, from grandchildren to grandparents, lives were taken here.